many LEGO games that have come before it has a lot of characters in it. This fits the Batman mythos particularly well, because it also has tons and tons of characters, all of them having their own unique skills, abilities, and moves. The way LEGO Batman depicts this array of abilities is by having many of these abilities lumped together under certain categories, with each category of abilities depicted by a certain icon that is visible if you look up the character in the character select screen in free play mode. You can see what this looks like in the beginning of any of my free play videos in the LP, where I show up what the Joker's skill set looks like several times. Now, this icon system can get confusing if you're not aware of what all the icons mean. Sure, some of them look like the ability they represent, but others look like they have little to nothing to do with what they stand for. Plus, I know that some of you were curious as to if I would show this off or not, because I am psychic, and I can read your minds over the internet. So here it is, a video that explains all about the icon system in LEGO Batman and what the icons stand for. There are 16 icons in the game that are used to represent character traits and skills. To start things off, this icon means that the character is a good guy, and able to use the special gold and black hero panels with a Batman symbol on them to open up special areas. All the good guys have this ability, including Batman, Robin, Commissioner Gordon, Azrael, Huntress, Cops, the SWAT team characters, and more. This icon, in contrast, means that the character is a bad guy, and can use the purple and green villain panels with the defaced Batman logo on them that open special areas. The whole superstitious cowardly lot of the criminals have this ability, including all the major rogues like Scarecrow, Two-Face, and Catwoman, but also lesser known characters like Firefly. All of the goons, whether they work for the Joker, the Penguin, the Riddler, or no criminal in particular, also have this ability. This icon means that a character is agile enough to double jump while in mid-air to get to higher places or across some gaps. Examples of characters with this ability include Batman himself and the Riddler. All the variants and palette swaps of these two characters, such as Batgirl, Classic Batman, and Three-Piece Suit Riddler, also have this ability. And personally, while this might be the animated series fangirl in me coming out, I much prefer Riddler's suit variant, with his cute little bowler hat. This icon indicates that a character can glide across wide gaps, whether it be by umbrella, wings, or a special cape. Some characters that have this ability include Man-Bat, both Kill and Moth variants, and Alfred. Yes, Alfred the Butler can glide using his umbrella. It's up to you whether that makes the character incredibly silly or incredibly awesome. Batman and his variants can also obtain this ability by using a glide suit suit swap pad. This icon means that the character has super strength and is able to move heavy objects and tear down breakable walls with their bare hands. Most characters with this ability, such as Bane and Killer Croc, also happen to be villains as well. But Azrael is an example of a heroic character with this skill. This skill is especially important in hunting for canisters and some other hidden items, since so many of them are hidden behind breakable walls. Plus, it's fun to tear down walls while you're playing as Bane, and imagine this playing in the background. This icon means that a character can use tight ropes, and there are lots of characters with this ability, but some notable examples include Harley Quinn, Robin and his variants, and Huntress. Every female villain and their variants can use this ability. Now, this may be a glitch, but in my physical copy of LEGO Batman, Professor Jonathan Crane, Scarecrow's Out of Costume variant, also has this ability for some reason. So when Crane's wearing the Scarecrow costume, he can't tightrope walk? Actually, that might be for the best. How would you like to be sleeping in your Gotham City apartment and wake up to Scarecrow staring in your bedroom window from a freaking tightrope? This icon means that the character is small enough, or short enough, or both, to use travel shoots. Examples of character with this skill include Robin and his variants, Mad Hatter, and the Penguin. Though Penguin's kind of a fat bastard, wouldn't he end up stuck inside that chute instead? And what about Mad Hatter's giant hat? Does he pull an Indiana Jones and just grab it from the inside of the chute when he arrives at the other end? I'm going to imagine that he totally does from now on, because it amuses me. This icon means that a character is immune to toxic chemicals, and can pass through clouds of poisonous green gas and puddles of toxic goo without being harmed by it. Almost every character with this ability, except for Azrael, are villains. For example, the Joker and Scarecrow both have this ability. But Robin and his variants can get this ability by using a biohazard suit swap pad. This icon is another immunity icon, and characters with it next to their names are able to tolerate severe cold. Mr. Freeze is an obvious example of a character with this ability, and his goons also have this ability. But for some reason, Killer Croc also has this ability. But he's a reptile! He's cold-blooded, isn't he? Wouldn't that make him sluggish in the cold rather than able to tolerate it? Do, do you think Killer Croc likes to sunbathe being reptilian? Damn it! why do I ask myself these questions? Batman and his variants can also get this ability through the Freeze Suit Suit Swamp Pad. This icon here appears next to characters that can grapple using the special gray and yellow pads for that purpose. Examples of characters with the grapple ability include Batman, the Joker, and for whatever reason, Victor Zaz. Why, oh why, can Zaz grapple? 
Where in the comics does it ever state that Victor's ass can grapple? Does he tie a rope to one of his knives and throw it or something? And for that matter, I still don't know how the Joker is able to grapple. Does he use a modified razor card, an actual grapple rope, some sort of gag gun? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm a certified grade A Joker crazy fangirl, and even I don't know how in the hell the Joker grapples up a tall building. Maybe he and Zaz can have a party while they're up there or something, I don't know. This icon means that a character has the necessary flexibility or gymnastic skill to use wall jump poles. Characters with this ability include Robin and his variants, Harley and her variant, and all the female villains. Why do all the female villains have this ability? Catwoman makes sense, but I'm not sure if Poison Ivy strikes me as the kind of gal who really did gymnastics as a young woman. I mean, the woman went into the sciences, a traditionally male-dominated field. I don't think she's really the kind of woman who has much interest in a female-dominated sport like gymnastics. Or maybe she did, I don't know. Could a fan of the flowery femme fatale please give me some insight into this? This icon means that a character has the ability to use suit swap pads, and only Batman, Robin, and their variants have this ability. So this is a hero-only ability. Suit swap pad flavors include Glide Suit, Bomb Suit, Freeze Suit, Magno Suit, and Biohazard Suit. Robin has one more suit in the console version, the Tech Suit, which allows him to open special tech panels, but that was cut from the DS version of the game. I think Batman also had a wet suit in the console version that let him breathe underwater, but I might be wrong about that. This icon means that a character is able to use the Ground Pound maneuver. This skill is incredibly useful for breaking multiple containers or for taking down multiple enemies at once, and any character with a double jump ability has this skill by default. For some reason, if they're a good guy, they attack with their foot, and if they're a bad guy, they attack with their fist. I have no idea what makes using your fist any worse than using your foot. And wow, that line is a great example of something you should really put into context first before you say it to anyone. This icon means that the character it appears next to has some sort of Razorang ability, whether it be Batman's Batarangs, the Joker's Razor Cards, or another character's Boomerang-type ranged attack. Only characters that are Batman or Robin variants, with the exception of the Joker, have this ability, and this icon only covers characters that have boomerang-style ranged attacks. Characters with guns, grenades, and other ranged weapons fall under the next icon. This icon appears next to characters that have a ranged attack. Usually this means that the character has a gun of some sort, such as Bane and the SWAT guys, but it could mean that a character throws grenades, like Scarecrow's fear gas grenades. Characters with ranged weapons that are different from these two types include Huntress, who has an automatic crossbow gun, the SWAT Elite, who has a rocket launcher, and characters with non-traditional guns, like Mr. Freeze's Freeze Ray or Firefly's Flamethrower. Characters that dual-wield guns, such as Two-Face, also fall under this category. Firefly's Flamethrower is by far the strongest weapon in the game, with the SWAT Elite's rocket launcher coming in at second place. Both kill in one hit, but the Flamethrower is much, much faster than the slow, heavy rocket launcher is. And finally, any character with this icon next to their name is an explosives expert, and can detonate special red and black objects by placing a bomb next to it. This is almost exclusively a villain-only ability, with the exception of the SWAT team officer. Villains with this ability include Two-Face and Scarecrow. Batman can gain this ability by using a bomb suit suit swap pad, though I still have to question just why in the name of Bob Kane he needs to have one in the first place when he could just carry bombs in his utility belt. Oh well, remember the MST3K mantra, Phantom? It's just a game. You should really just relax. but it could mean that a character throws grenades, like Scarecrow's Fear Grass. Fear, fear Grass. Fear Grass! <laughs> fear Grass! <laughs> fear Grass! Wow, Phantom, wow.